Hello once again, this is Corey Antigua from Power and Pounders Drum Magazine. And like I said, it's been great being here. And um, I, my voice is shot right now, but that's okay. I'm, I'm mustering it up here. So my, my, my final guest, the headliner, I should say, of the interviews. Uh, now, she's gonna, I've been pronouncing your name wrong, your, your last name. For I'm a decade? Saying, yeah, I've known her for a while. Almost, what, wow. almost 20 years, maybe. Whew. Somewhere around right there. Yeah, I think Mike introduced us, like and that's 15, how the whole, yeah, something like that. we all met. But it's Jennifer. Yes. Now, let me see. This. No! No! Okay. Diaz. No! <laughs> Strike three. I'm gonna let you take it. Deets. Deets. I was close. <laughs> I was close because all week long, when I saw the advertisement, I'm like, I'm going Diaz and yeah. Dietes and. I know. So. You're not the only one. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, welcome to Power Problems. Normally, it's a drum channel, but she's a well known singer around Orange County and mm -hmm. California. She's a worship leader. And I'm going to let her tell a story. She's got CDs. I'm going to put the link in the description. You guys can purchase them. And uh, let her share a story how she started doing worship and share a little bit of her testimony how she came to Christ. Uh, where would you like me to start? Anywhere you want. When okay. you were a little girl starting or your grown up years starting singing. Yeah. Um, you know, well, whatever you want to share. Yeah. Um... So I guess I'll start with kind of my musical journey. Um, I accepted the Lord when I was four, okay. and I would write music uh, later on in life when I was around 12 uh, for communion with God. I would come home from church and write my own music because I didn't always feel a connection to some of the hymns that I grew up singing. Some of them I, I still sing and I still love, but mm -hmm. I didn't fully understand um, the weight of the lyrics presented in some of the songs. I think it was more so some of the melodies weren't like mm -hmm. something that I resonated with as a kid. So I would make up my own music. Here we go. So here we take, go. Take two. Take two. Take two. The first time the <laughs> microphone wasn't plugged in. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah. So continue where you left Okay. Off. You were so, talking about when you started singing as a little girl. Yeah. And, I'm going to give you okay. the very, what is it, abridged? Is that the right word? <laughs> the short, version? The short version. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah. So tonight I had a lot of fun um, playing a fusion of styles with my band. Okay. Um, we played bluegrass, and then I coined my own um, my own genre that I okay. call pop grass. Okay, it's like a combo of pop music and bluegrass gotcha. music. And what's yeah. the name of your band? Jennifer Dietz Band. Okay, for now. Jennifer Dietz Band. Rubber okay. Band is in the running. Okay, okay. Rubber Band, yeah. All right. Phil came up with that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I played with a lot of different people, and. Uh, this is the band that I play with at church, okay. and we just have started. This is really the first time we've played outside, all all yeah, four of us yeah. together, and we have gospel fest coming up with okay. uh, Gutierrez Brothers and Dennis Agajanian. Wow, that awesome. is, I believe, May seventh in San Dimas. Okay, uh, we're on the roster for that, and uh, who knows where else the Lord will take us. Yeah. But uh, you were asking me about my beginnings, so I grew up in a household that listen to an eclectic array of music and so I was influenced by you know uh, new age music classical new age not in the sense of spiritual but uh, just a very ambient um, oldies uh, bluegrass music um, Irish music uh, gospel Christian contemporary you know theater music like all of it and I've um, so that's why I did quite a blend of genres. Um, tonight we played gospel, we played bluegrass, we played contemporary, and my own original uh, creations as a songwriter. Um, so that was what I really enjoyed, is uh, getting to kind of cut loose in a way mm -hmm. that I don't normally get to play at church, mm -hmm. yeah. is to, to really um, play the songs that God has given me. And, um, oh, there's Mikey. <laughs> there's Mikey. <laughs> um, and to uh, 
uh, you know, let the guys have drum solos and bass solos. Okay. And that's yeah, what's yeah. fun, I think, yeah. about a concert. Yeah. And as a little girl, I always dreamt about, um, you know, recording. And yet performing has also been a love of mine. I, I think it's like my second love. Mm -hmm. My first love is recording. Okay. And I've done several got albums. Some CDs, you guys. We, so, website on there. You have a website. Uh, JenniferDeetsMusic.com. Okay, we'll yeah. put that in the description. Newly revamped. How can, uh, yeah. can they get the music through you? Um, this one you can only get through me. This was my first. Um, it has contained songs that I dreamt. Many scripture songs, including I've Been Healed by the Stripes of Jesus, which has been a very popular song. A lot okay. of people have reported healing yeah. from listening to it. And I wrote it when I was going through a very desperate time of needing healing myself. Okay. Yeah, for two yeah, years. Yeah. And then this one is Moment by Moment. That was my sophomore effort. And it has some amazing musicians on it. And then I have my uh, Jazz and Blues Christmas album, okay. Winter Volume 1. Yeah. Cool. yeah, and it was a dream come yeah. true yeah. to to record the songs that God has had given me over the years. Yeah. Um, so I started making albums myself, and then I realized okay. this is a lot of work yeah. and yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> so finally I started going to somebody to record yeah. me, and then that's yeah. when this one okay. was born. And, uh, awesome. you know, a way that I've always communed with God was through writing music to Him. Okay. And I felt more of a connection with him through singing my own songs mm -hmm. that he gave me than I did singing a cover song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's true for anybody in any capacity. Yeah. When uh, you are wired a certain way, um, you can commune with God through your own creativity, whether mm -hmm. that's building bikes or you know running i remember think of that movie chariots of fire mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. the guy said like i feel him when i run mm -hmm. and i feel him when i sing and when i write music for him mm -hmm. i feel such an intense communion with god and a fellowship in a way that um yeah. is just different uh than when i'm like singing a cover song mm -hmm. you know yeah it's but more meaningful it is more meaningful yeah yeah, it's yeah. More meaningful. The creator has made us to create. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, you can be creative singing people's other people's music for sure. Um, and I enjoy that too. But I really enjoy having an outlet to write yeah. um, original music and to play it. So I'm really thankful yeah. that Jim Warino put this night together. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, it brought sure. bands together yeah. to play music in a way that um, you don't always have that experience in church you know there's yeah. a place for um what we did tonight yeah. and yeah. uh and it felt like i, I think we had church you know That's we had church tonight say, you know sometimes we need to take bands out you know and, and whether just be in a church get them out and just do outreaches whether that be a club or wherever else so i agree 100 just briefly how did you become a christian that's the first question. The second question would be, would we, every, we're going through a crazy time right now in this world. Just Things are just going just off the charts. What would you say to that person that is searching for, for God and looking for God and needs hope in their lives? Um, share, share your testimony. Okay. Um, so my testimony is, I think, kind of boring. <laughs> No testimonies, boy. <laughs> I didn't have any like radical come to Jesus That's okay. moments. It's I right. was four. Sometimes the simplest is the best. <laughs> I was in Sunday school. I went to an A-frame, you know, Lutheran yeah. church, steeple and everything, stained glass. And I remember being in Sunday school in one of the back rooms. And I had, you know, Mrs. Zito was my Sunday school teacher back in the 80s so this was like 80 see i was born in 83 now you know how old i am <laughs> don't so calculate like 86 1986 <laughs> um mrs zito taught us the little like children's here is the church here is the steeple and then, uh, something all the people and you know those little finger games mm. and it was fun it like drew me in yeah. i i enjoyed going to sunday school and learning the songs, Jesus Loves Me, 
learning um, uh, the little finger games that explain, you know, um, church, the beauty of church, and just fun stuff like that. And that really opened the door mm-hmm. for me to, um, to like, love God. Um, I don't think I had a deep understanding, though, of, of the person of Jesus and the Trinity um, until later in life. So Jesus was my savior growing up Mm -hmm. and I communed with God. I always prayed to the father and I had fellowship with the Holy Spirit in a way that I didn't recognize was the working of the Holy Spirit. Um, This manifested in terms of just knowing God as a counselor and praying for things when I was in a time of trouble and seeing his hand move. Mm -hmm. I mean, stupid stuff like... I have really thin hair and I want to be able to put it in a bun so I can be a senorita for Halloween okay. when I was in second grade. Well, I prayed for lots of hair. Yeah. And now I have it. Look at all of this hair. God answers prayer. It doesn't matter how small the prayer is, okay? So I think that's like my motto is yeah. just pray. Yeah. You know, Nike says, just do it. Just do it. Just my, my motto is like, just pray. <laughs> He's the God of amazing parking spots. Yep. Like yep. he, he will surprise us. And, um, I went to an expo last week. It was a health expo, Expo West. Maybe mm-hmm. some of you are familiar with it. So I have a wellness coaching business and I help people lose weight and feel better because I've had a very arduous journey with my health mm-hmm. and, um, I'm still recovering from autoimmune disease and some of the you know, the issues that, um, came along with mold exposure and, you know, being a musician, just pushing through every concert, every show Mm -hmm. and not resting, you know, you're like the world teaches us to work, 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 and that will have success. But really, you know, part of my testimony is, um, progressively learning that, uh, true rest and true success comes through God comes through Jesus and uh, you know so I get to do things um, with it with a different understanding and I was at this health expo last last week and just really enjoying being there learning about you know um, natural health and wellness and um, long days walking around looking at you know there's 3,000 vendors there and 57,000 people mm-hmm. And um, by the end of the day, I'm like really tired and going, Lord, I have to walk to my car in the dark mm-hmm. with like three heavy bags. It's because I just stayed and listened to this amazing band that I didn't plan on listening to. And, you know, will you send me some help so mm-hmm. I'm not walking by myself? And he did. Yeah. As I was walking out, I bumped into a security guard who um, I got to talking with and kind of ministered to him a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, got to share um, a little bit about Christian worship music with him. Mm-hmm. And, and then the very next night, um, I also needed a ride to my car, prayed for that, and God provided. And so part of my testimony is really getting to know God according to his names mm-hmm. and knowing his name is healer, so I can ask for healing. His name is, um, you know, help. Like, uh, he will, he will save Mm -hmm. a savior. He will bring me help so I can pray for help. So, um, you know, so last week it just, he knocked my socks off with answering so many prayers. Mm -hmm. Um, and since I have been four years old, that has been a theme of my life is knowing that I could go to God with anything and he's ready to receive me. And I do understand that fellowship is broken with him when we are like in sin, you know, Mm -hmm. and, um, God has been teaching me, uh, how, you know, his holiness, like throughout my twenties and, um, just taking me deeper into like soul restoration and, and really finding my peace in Mm -hmm. him because the world will talk to you with trying to imprint its understanding of what peace is, which is kind of a more of a, like a hippie-ish understanding, I would say. But the true peace of God that I've come to know is resting in Him, 
And that involves um, not leaning on my own understanding for what I want to accomplish in life, um, what I feel like I've been called to do, <laughs> mm -hmm. and what I feel I need to receive. And uh, so I'm very much in a season now at 38 years old um, that I didn't think I would be in. I thought I would be in a very different place. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, 10 years ago when I was 28, I was like on fire to record and just like I got to pump out all these albums and all my original music. Yeah. And like the whole state of music has even changed to where. No one buys albums anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't, it's like hard to recoup yeah, any so money that you spend, yeah, like yeah. thousands of dollars you spend on recording. Yeah. And, and I don't know what to do with that as a songwriter who loves recording, but it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. And when like it's $6 a gallon to like mm -hmm. fill your car yeah. with gas, you know, are you going to like go record the music in the studio? Yeah. Um, so God is really uh, stretching my faith right now. And it's okay because I know he'll show up because mm. he's his name is provider. Mm. And I'll be open and honest and say, like, I don't know when or how I'm going to finish the four records that have been sitting there for seven years. <laughs> Needing to be done, half done. Fast drive, because that seems to be the Yeah, like the as I've thing. been spending thousands of dollars <laughs> yeah. on, you know, healing from autoimmune disease. Who yeah. knows why God does what he does, but yeah. um, it, it's more about the journey than the destination I'm learning. Because with every concert I've completed, with every album I've finished, mm -hmm. you know, there's never a sense of like, wow, I've arrived. You know, mm -hmm. it's always like, I can't wait to do the next one. Yeah, yeah. And so communion with the very person who gives us the desire to do these things has... Um, then the biggest revelation that has come to me is just remembering why I do what I do yeah, yeah. and having, um, having a, my eyes opened after I was diagnosed with advanced Hashimoto's disease and a secondary autoimmune after that, it was like, wow, I really like, what am I wor working so hard for? Mm. You know, there's always going to be another CD to record, another concert to play at, another this or that and though i love those things and i feel like that is part of my calling and the and the purpose for being here my main purpose is to please god and it's to do whatever he calls me to do and maybe he's calling me to like slow down and just be loved mm -hmm. and to live under that ceiling so that i'm not you know just overworking myself mm -hmm. and um and, and i think like the world sends us a lot of mixed messages and i really got caught up in that so my major testimony is i've gotten to know this god that i met when i was four years old in a more intimate way through uh people challenging me to read his word really that's how i've grown you can't get to know god you can't even trust somebody that you aren't like yeah. spending time with yeah, and exactly. like reading yeah. what they have to say. Yeah. And so when I was like 23, I'd had my appendix um, erupt um, out of nowhere and I had to have emergency surgery. I got really sick after the surgery for two years. And then I um, wrote a song called I've Been Healed by the Stripes of Jesus. And I heard, literally heard angels singing that song with me and uh, about a month and a half later i was at a church service and i received my healing from this post-surgery disease that i had this condition and i had been you know running around like spending all my money trying to get well and uh <clears throat> so that was really my first um experience with god our healer yeah yeah and powerful. and Very i think powerful. it's it's never gonna stop you yeah, know it's yeah. like god just wants us to continually know him yeah. and grow in him and so i am you know looking forward to you know tonight tomorrow yeah. like as next. he just walks on this journey with yeah. me and you know tonight was such a blessing for me um to commune with him mm -hmm. on stage ministering to his people 
uh, creatively in song and, and through my original music too. And, and just having that like awesome fellowship, mm -hmm. even with my, my, uh, my bandmates. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm so thankful that Jim, who put this on, yeah. uh, he persevered when the, the initial venue was pulled out mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't have anywhere to go. And like, I was getting hit with spiritual warfare yeah, this yeah. week. Um, you know, Mike, another performer during the show, he was robbed and then uh, my, or almost that. robbed. Yes, and like, yeah. I had pain this week. My <clears throat> bandmates had like vertigo. It's One of them had vertigo. It's, so it's, much. Yeah. But, um, the cord not being plugged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to share this interview. Don't, yeah. It's, it's always something. Yeah. There's always something. But know. if we, if we persevere <clears throat> in Christ and we yeah. just give it to him, he's like so faithful yeah. to, uh, to give us the victory and to do above and beyond. I felt yeah. like he did above and beyond. Like I didn't really feel good coming yeah. here. I had no energy. I worked all day and, yeah. Yeah. you know, and all week. And, and yet it's like, if we just bowed, sometimes we do need to physically rest, but, um, like, almost like the theme of my life recently has been God saying, find your rest in me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so before I went up and sang tonight, I said, you, you got to fill me Matthew 11, completely. Yeah. <laughs> and he yeah. did. So, yeah. you know, well, it was good. thank you, it Jesus. Was good. I'm glad you got a chance to come. I know you're tired. We've all been, it's been a long day, guys. And so, you know, we have to do it again sometimes. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be playing out, you know, the next yeah, couple of months so. to come and, you know, we'll try to get this out soon. There's just a lot, you know, I have to do. But yeah, thanks for it. It's great seeing you again. It's you been too. years since, maybe four or five years, maybe even longer since yeah. I actually seen you. Right. You know, so. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, you, know, you too, Corey. So, you know, God bless you. Continue to do what you're doing. Get these. Get these CDs. I'm gonna put the link, the website, right? You got the website. Yeah. Okay. Is Jennifer it on your... Dietz music com. Okay. Yep. I'll put it on the description. Talking stuffers. And um, get them all through her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Support the artists. Yeah. How much so, are they? Right quick. Um, fifteen. Okay. Ten. Ten. And ten. Ten. Yeah. What's and 15. 15. And you can get all three for 30. Okay. See, all three for 30 right here. Right here. You heard it on Power and Pounders, you guys. And when you purchase so. the CD, it actually enables me to put finances towards more albums. Yep. Yeah. Support the so, artists, especially Christians. Yeah. Artists. It's really tough in, in uh, <clears throat> the day and age of streaming and downloads because yeah. there's... I know. Not much well, uh, to it. put towards, you know, <laughs> records. So anyways, for those who, you know, I know non-musicians, um, you don't know any of this, but that's just kind of the background. So when yeah. you when you buy the albums, it, it's huge. It really yeah, helps out to, to um, put more quality music out there for God and, you know, help people fortify their faith yeah. Yeah. and get saved and whatever else God wants to do through the music. Excellent. It's great having you on. And you hopefully too, we can get a chance to do this again. You too. In All another right. location. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe like in Hawaii, surrounded by palm trees next time. <laughs> you get it you never know. Your hair. Or in a snow blizzard, you know. <laughs> snow blizzard for me would be good. I can go back to Russia, you know. So. All right. We'll yeah. talk to you soon. Yes. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching Power and Pounders on YouTube and Facebook. You can also listen to the podcast on Anchor FM, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. God bless.